Hey guys, today we're going over tuning basics and how to tune your print to get the perfect part every single time. The next thing you're gonna look at is speed. Now this is how fast your nozzle is gonna be moving around the part, laying down each layer. So obviously we all want parts quickly, but the best quality is generally gonna be the slower speeds. So it really depends what you're going for. Do you need a strong part, uh, but you want it quick and you don't care how it looks, or do you need a beautiful, sculpted, excellent, dimensionally accurate part, then you're gonna wanna go a little bit slower. And this is really because of the hardware. I mean, think about it. You're taking a nozzle with an extruder on it and you're moving it from here to here to here to here to here to here. The faster you go, the more jerky it's gonna be, the more mass it's gonna have to move over here, creating momentum, and then stop and go back. So if you're using belts and splines and all these different things, it's gonna have a harder time keeping it perfect versus if you just go nice, slow, and steady, it's gonna round that sharp curve smooth and perfectly. So speeds, your trade-off is really quality and speed. Now, some things can come out perfect quality at high speeds, that really comes down to the material. So with any print, you can adjust different settings and then when you hit slice, it'll actually tell you how long the print's gonna take. So if you need this part by tomorrow, but it's gonna take 26 hours, maybe you print it a little bit faster with some different settings so you can have it at 8 a.m. instead of the next evening. It really comes down to personal preference and the project you're working on. So based on that, you can actually do different tests and see how the parts look at this speed and that speed. Now, generally, materials like PLA are gonna print around 60 millimeters per second on most machines. Uh, there's a lot of experimentation happening out there and we're seeing people print at 100 millimeters a second or 150 millimeters a second, but that's using different heater cartridges and different types of hardware to enable that. Cause you gotta melt the plastic fast enough to get through the nozzle enough, enough material through the nozzle as it's going around and there's sort of a trade-off between how fast you can melt the plastic and print the plastic and move the machine and still get the quality you want. So, it's getting a little complex, but follow right with me. Most materials are going to be somewhere between 40 millimeters a second and 100 millimeters a second at the top end. There is new hardware coming out that's gonna change that, but right now, in March of 2019, generally 40 to 100 millimeters a second. Now, advanced materials, the high temperature materials like PEAK and PEI, we actually see a range of speeds that we use based on the geometry of the part. If we're doing a vase mode versus a solid block, the settings are gonna be different. So it really is variable to where you are, what your filament is, and what machine you're using. So for beginners, 40 millimeters a second, it's a great place to start. You'll probably be able to crank that up to 60 millimeters a second on the basic materials. No problem, stay somewhere in that range. Whether you've got a $300 printer or a $30,000 printer, it's always gonna come down to the material and the tuning process. Thanks for watching. We're gonna be releasing a lot more tips, tutorials, and guides on how to print these high-performance thermoplastics. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.